Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. I am your host and purpose pusher, Carolyn Ritter Watson, and so welcome and good morning. This is a wonderful Monday morning. Um, I pray that you had a wonderful night, and um, yeah, it's time to wake up. <laughs> it's time to wake up. So this is your morning wake-up call. I want to wake you up to the fact that God loves you with an unconditional love that his love is everlasting to everlasting towards you. Amen. I also want to wake you up to the fact that you are who God says you are. You are not your situation. You are not your circumstances. You are not your past. Amen. You are not your problems and your struggles. Amen. You are who God says you are. And that's what we're going to do this morning. We are going to declare and decree everything that God has called us to be. <laughs> we are going to declare and decree. You know, scripture says that when we declare a thing and decree a thing, it shall be established. And so what are you establishing this morning out of your mouth? What's coming out of your mouth concerning you? What's coming out of your mouth concerning your family? What's coming out of your mouth concerning your situation? right this is your tears to breakthrough moment and so whatever you're going through whatever you're crying about whatever tears you're shedding we are breaking through it together amen so come on in if this is your first time welcome if this is not your first time you know what you should be doing you should be inviting someone new into our virtual space this is our v room our virtual space this is our virtual conference center where we lift each other up in prayer where we support each other we stand in the gap for each other amen and we share our authentic stories we no longer hide behind the mask amen no absolutely not so welcome so listen so if you have not already gone to the group this morning to say good morning please do go say good morning say hello um, leave an inspirational post if you like um, and check out our morning post amen because as you know every morning I post and well monday through friday i want well, to i post every morning but i normally do a video um that's relevant to the post monday through friday let me just say that so this morning is no different so hop on hop in come on the group say good morning check out our morning post um and then we're going to talk about it amen so yeah so I pray that you had a wonderful and marvelous weekend. Amen. I had a pretty busy weekend, but it was very productive. Amen. Very productive. And so I'm just so excited about everything God is doing. He is truly amazing. Amen. And worth serving. Amen. I love being a servant of God. Amen. So anyway, with that said, I don't want to hold you long. I know it's morning, early morning, and you're trying to get ready for work, trying to get the children out and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to get right to it. Amen. Um, so who are you? Have you ever thought about it? When you woke up this morning and you looked in the mirror, did you think to yourself, who am I? Who am I? Who are you? And who are you declaring that you are this morning? Who are you and who are you declaring that you are this morning? That is my question for you. So listen, Mark 8, 27. We're going to go to Mark 8, 27. Mark 8, 27. It says, Jesus and his disciples went on to the villages around Caesarea, Philippi. On the way, he questioned his disciples and he asked them, who do people say I am? Right? Verse 28 says, um, they answered. And the, the answer was, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others say you are one of the prophets. And so my question to you is, you know, who do men say you are? Who do people say you are? But more than that, who do you say you are? Because everyone has an opinion right everyone has a judgment everyone has you know something to say about who they think you are and so just like jesus you know everyone had an opinion about who they thought he was right sounds familiar and so people are going to say whatever they're going to say 
about you. They're going to form whatever opinions they're going to form about you, you know, um, who they want you to be, <laughs> right? Based on who they want you to be, based on how they want you to be, based on, you know, um, what they perceive you to be. But that does not make it true. Amen. But the important, the important, what's most important, family, is who God says you are. Because, of course, he created us. And not only did he create us, but he created us in his image and in his likeness. And so what's important is who the creator says we are because he created us to be all that he has called us to be amen he had us in mind when he formed the world when he framed this world he had us in mind and he had a plan and a purpose for us right and so it was always good okay and so who god says about you is what's most important and then after that it's who you say you are what is it that you say about yourself how do you describe yourself when you're describing yourself to people when you look in the mirror this morning when you look in the mirror or if you're looking in the mirror right now what do you see and what's your response to what you see right i say it all the time our words have power so each time you open your mouth and speak you are actually prophesying your future words are seeds and so each time you open your mouth and speak whatever you're speaking that thing is going to grow Amen. It's going to grow, whatever it is. Scripture tells us that we will have what we say. And so what are you saying? What are you saying concerning your situation? What are you saying about you? Who do you say you are? Who do you say you are? Right? And so we're going to do some declaring and decreeing this morning. But what I want to do right now, I want to go to our morning post. And so the morning post... It says, say something nice about yourself. And that's what I want you to do today. That is your assignment for today. To just throughout the day, I want you to say something nice about yourself. Think something nice and open your mouth and speak something nice about yourself. So say something nice about yourself. And then it has, I am and align. You determine who you are today so i am finish the sentence 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 who are you who are you who are you right are you who everybody says you are or are, are you a chameleon you you know because i know people like this they literally like become whoever they're around you know um they don't really know their identity they don't they don't know who they are for real for real they just become whoever they hang around is that you do you know who you are are you suffering from an identity crisis because the enemy would have us to suffer from identity crisis he doesn't want us to know who we are he wants to he wants us to forget about who we are and so today we're going to declare and decree who we are so i want you to declare and decree with me grab a pen and a piece of paper i mean fortunately this is a video so you can always come back to it um and i want you to write these scriptures down and i want you to get in the mirror and declare and decree this over your life not just today but every day so that you get a clear picture of who you are and whose you are amen and so declare this with me this morning say i am all that god has created me to be I declare and decree that I am all God created me to be. I declare and decree that I am all that God has created me to be. Amen. And then I am a child of God. I declare and decree that I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Uh, John 1 12, it says, but to all who have received him, those who believe in his name, he has given the right to become God's children. And so declare and decree that with me. Open your mouth and speak. Say, I am a child of God. I am a child of God, which means it doesn't matter what the situation was with your natural parents. Because you have a heavenly father. You are a child of the most high God. You are a child of God. Amen. And then I know many times we suffer. I, I talk to so many people that just suffer from condemnation. You know, they, they might have messed up. 
some stuff, messed some people up. They might have messed up in life. We all have made mistakes. We all have made mistakes, each and every one of us. But we are not to, um, you know, continue to put ourselves down. You know, you know, once you have messed up, repent. That means to turn, turn from that thing and keep it moving because God has already forgiven you. If you ask for forgiveness, God will forgive you. If you sincerely ask for forgiveness, God will forgive you. But then now you have to forgive yourself. And so declare this with me right now. Say, I am redeemed and forgiven. I am redeemed and forgiven by the grace of Christ. And so that's Ephesians 1, 7. It says, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. Mm, that is some good news, right? And so you are redeemed and forgiven. Amen. And so now declare this with me. Say, I am God's beautiful workmanship. You are not who man say, says you are. Amen. You are not who your abuser declared you are. You know, you are not um, who the naysayers say you are. And you're not even who you say you are if you're putting yourself down on a daily basis. You know, sometimes, you know, we are our worst critics, right? Right. And so I want you to declare this with me right now. Say, I am God's beautiful workmanship. I am God's beautiful workmanship. And so Ephesians 2, 10, Ephesians 2, 10, it says, For we are his workmanship, having been created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared beforehand, so we may do them. And so there's some works that God has already prepared beforehand for you to do. I always say we were created here on earth for a purpose. We were, we were created on purpose for a purpose. You're not here um, by accident. Absolutely not. You, were, you are here, God created you, for a purpose, on purpose. He had you in mind when he framed the world, when he formed the universe, he had you in mind. And so let's declare that again. I am God's beautiful workmanship for we are his workmanship, having been created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared beforehand so we may do them. What is God calling you to do today? What is he calling you to do today? Don't allow other people to determine what God called you to do. God gave you the call. He didn't give them the call. He gave them their call, but he gave you your call. So you have to be on your assignment, not on their assignment. I think so many times we get caught up and twisted. We think we're supposed to just work, 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 work. And we are supposed to work, but we're also supposed to answer the call. God has a specific and, and a unique call for each and every one of us. And so therefore, you can't just be um, answering somebody else's call. You got to answer your call. There's some work that God wants you to do. So let's declare that right now. And according to Ephesians 2.10, I am God's beautiful workmanship. For we are his workmanship, having been created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared beforehand so we may do them. Do the work. Do the work. Whatever the work that God is calling you to do, I want to encourage you this morning to do the work. Amen. And so, you are light. So say that with me right now. Say, I am light no longer in darkness. Because so many of you have been in darkness for a very long time. God is calling you to the light. Come to the light. What was that movie? Come to the light. Come to the light. But I want you to say that with me right now. Out of your mouth, say, I am light no longer in darkness because the enemy will have you thinking that you're, you're 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 supposed to permanently be in that dark place absolutely not so today we are declaring and decreeing that you are light and you're coming out of that dark place you're coming out of that dark place amen so declare that with me right now say i am light no longer in darkness and so ephesians 5 ephesians 5 8 it says, for you were at one time darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. I'm going to say that again. For you were at one time darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Amen. 
Ephesians 5 8 so I am who do you say you are this morning the next one is just declare this with me right now say I am God's chosen Woo, that's a good one right because some of you feel rejected and neglected amen but that's okay if you're rejected and neglected by man <laughs> it's okay because you are God's chosen declare that with me open your mouth and say that right now say I am God's chosen God loves me and has chosen me amen and that's um Thessalonians 1 4 Thessalonians 1 4 we know brothers and sisters loved by God that he has chosen you he has chosen you he has chosen you amen so it's okay if somebody else overlooked you because God has chosen you amen yes absolutely okay and then so you might have messed up we all messed up we all have sinned and fallen short all of us all of us and so don't allow the enemy to have you to believe that you're so unique and that messed up that you had that you can never overcome it or recover from it amen absolutely not because you are a new creation in christ a new creature a new creation right second corinthians 5 17 second corinthians 5 17 i want you to meditate on these scriptures today as you declare who you are amen so declare this with me right now say i am a new creation in christ so then it says in second corinthians 5 17 so then if anyone is in christ he is a new creation what is old has passed away look what is new has come you are a new creation so declare that right now say i am a new creation i am no longer what i used to be i am not my past i am not my hurt i am not you know what they say i am i am a new creation amen if you know that you're doing the work and you've done the work you can declare and decree that out of your mouth every day say i am a new creation when that old stuff start creeping up in your mind because the enemy likes to take you there he wants to take you back there he wants to keep you there amen begin to just say oh no 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 i am a new creation in christ old things have passed away behold all things are new you have to open up your mouth and speak open up your mouth and speak and declare everything that god has declared you to be but you have to speak that thing out of your mouth amen every day you should be affirming yourself seeing yourself the way god sees you and not the way your circumstances are not the way man sees you amen because i'm telling you people will mess you up with their opinions about who they think you are they will mess you up amen and then so let's let's declare this one right um because some of you have been a slave to some things some of you have been a slave to addiction some of you have been a slave to your past some of you have been a slave to unforgiveness so I don't know what you have been a slave to, but I'm declaring and decreeing today that that thing is broken off of you. You are no longer a slave. Amen. So I want you to declare that to declare that with me right now. Say, I am no longer a slave, but a child and an heir. Say, I am no longer a slave, but a child and an heir. So whatever has held you bound, whatever you have become a slave to it could be food a food addictions there's all types of addictions out there i don't know what your thing is but that's after the day i don't want that to be your thing anymore i want you to declare and decree say i am no longer a slave to and finish this sentence i am no longer a slave to and finish this sentence but a child i am a child and an heir okay and that's galatians galatians 4 7 Galatians 4 7 so you are no longer a slave but a son or daughter and if you are a son or daughter then you are also an heir through God amen you need to start declaring opening up your mouth and declaring and decreeing everything that God has called you to be amen you have to start seeing yourself the way God sees you and not the way man sees you and so now what I want you to do, I want you to just take a look around, look at anything that's going on in your life, any problems, any struggles, any troubles, whatever, trauma, drama, whatever is going on in your life. I want you to just take a look. I want you to look around, right? Just take a look, look around. 
you know, and, and, and sometimes some of you don't even have to look around because you got it all in your head and it's just playing and replaying over and over again. I just want you to take a moment. Okay. And now whatever that is, whatever is going on, I want you to, de to declare and decree with me. And all these things, even in all these things, everything that's going on right now in my life, all the troubles and struggles, even in all these things, I am more than that. I am more than a conqueror. Declare and decree that with me right now. Say, I am more than that. I am more than my struggle. I am more than my trouble. I am more than whatever it is. I am more than a conqueror. And all these things, I am more than a conqueror. And that's Romans 8. 31 Romans 8 31 through 39 okay so who do you say you are who do you say you are so I'm going to go back to our post of the day and I want you to say something nice about yourself throughout the day I want you to just declare and decree I am finish the sentence I am finish the sentence I am finish the sentence amen amen and so with that said, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pray. I'm going to just pray us out. Uh, Father God, I just thank you this morning, Lord God. We just thank you for allowing us to see another day, Lord God. Hallelujah. We just want to glorify you this morning. We just want to honor you this morning, Lord God. We just want to exalt you this morning, Lord, because you are such a good, good father to us, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you that you have created us in your image and in your likeness, Daddy. And so that means that we look just like you, Lord God. Help us to see ourselves the way you see us, Father, and not the way man see us, Lord God. Help us to not put ourselves down, Lord God, and help us to not allow others to um, put us down, Lord God. Help us to declare and decree every day, Lord God, that we are all that you have called us to be. Hallelujah. I just thank you that you've called us, Lord God. I thank you that in all these things, whatever the things are, Lord God, we are more than a conqueror. I thank you, Lord God, that we are your beautiful workmanship, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are redeemed, Lord God, from any curse, any generational curses, Lord God. We are redeemed. We are not who they say we are. Help us to, 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 to not fall for anything that anybody says about us, Lord God, because some people hear certain things and they allow that thing to worry them throughout the day and throughout the night. And so I come against that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree right now that everyone under the sound of my voice will see their worth. Their worth is in you and all these things. They are more than conquerors. They are children of God. They are your children. They are no longer a slave to their past, Lord God. They are no longer a slave to their situation, Lord God. They they are no longer a slave, Lord God. They are no longer in darkness, Lord God. Hallelujah. They are light. Hallelujah. We are light, Lord God. You are calling us to the light today, Lord God. Hallelujah. And so I declare and decree that everything, everything right now, Lord God, that has breath will praise you, Lord. We'll begin to praise you, Lord God. And we'll begin to see that they are all that you have created us to be, Lord God. We are fearfully and wonderfully made by you, Lord God. We know that you did not make joke, no joke, no junk, Lord God. You did not make junk, Lord God. We are not junk, Lord God. We are not an accident, Lord God. I heard somebody say the other day that they just they, they just feel like they're an accident. No, there is no one on this earth that's an accident. When, when you frame the world, Lord God, when you form the universe, Lord God, you had us in mind and you had a plan and a purpose in mind for us, Lord God. Help us to see our worth. Help us to see our life, our situations, our trouble, troubles and struggles the way you see them, Lord God. You see them already done, Lord God. The, 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 we're, we're, it's already done in the spirit, Lord God. You've already solved every issue, Lord God. You've already come through for us, Lord God. You said that you will supply our every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And so there is nothing that we stand in need of today, Lord God, because you said that you will supply our every need. And so we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. And finally, I speak a third John blessing. I, come, I, I, I pray above all things that we will prosper, that we will be in health, even as our soul prospers. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I want you to begin to open your mouth and speak. 
and don't just speak anything out of your mouth concerning you and concerning your situation and concerning your family no declare and decree everything that god has created you to be amen absolutely be all that god has created you to be stop being um you know um just stop just falling for anything that anybody says uh, to you about you you know they, they don't have the last say who are they who are they people crack me up when they say but they said or they 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 who are this they who are this who is this? who's the they who's the they who is this they and do they have more power and influence over you than god the creator hallelujah the god of the creator of the universe the god that created you to be all that he has called you to be he didn't create you to be nothing he didn't create you as junk he created you he, you are his beautiful workmanship amen i pray that, that has encouraged you today you know what share this video to somebody else that that needs to be built up that needs to be edified we all need encouragement amen God bless you. I do love you. I love you so much. But guess what? As much as I love you, God loves you more because he loves you with an unconditional love. Amen. He absolutely does. And he said that he will never leave you nor forsake you. So even if, you feeling, if you're feeling alone and lonely right now, know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. That is a promise. That is a promise. When I look back over my life and all of the trauma and drama and troubles and struggles that I've had, I can actually look back and know with confidence that God was there. He was there. I might not have allowed him to uh, get involved with the situation because I was so caught up like some of you, but he was there. He was there. He said that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. And so be encouraged, not discouraged. Be encouraged, not discouraged. Amen. Um, and don't forget to check out the end of this video. I will have some items from my uh, Layla Simone Shop for a Cause clothing line where you can shop with a purpose and for a cause. That is my business that I have with my granddaughter, Layla. I am teaching baby girl entrepreneurship. Amen. And so, um, yeah, check us out. The cause is women in crisis. And so we support nonprofits that support women in crisis. Amen. So check us out. Um, I'll have some items at the end of this video. So anyway... Declare and decree who you are today, who you are in Christ. Be all that God has called you to be. Amen. God is not limited to our, our little mindset. You know, when we have these negative thoughts, God is not limited to your negative thinking. He's absolutely, he's bigger than that. He's bigger than your circumstances. He's bigger than your situation. He's bigger than that little um, crazy thought that you have in your mind right now. He's bigger than that. Amen. He's bigger than that. Don't put God in a box. And then don't, don't box yourself in. Amen. Because God is bigger. Allow him to help you to grow in the things that he's calling you to be. Amen. Because you are who God says you are. Amen. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you next time right here in the Tears of Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. Our V space. Amen. Our V room. Um, and just encourage somebody else today. But don't forget to say something nice about yourself. Bye-bye. I will see you next time. Have a great day.